you to insinuate Poseidon has the slightest jurisdiction here. Once waters from the surface flow beneath the earth, they become mine. Each of the rivers, they are mine, not his. Whatever you say. Say, let me just point out, you've got a lot of nectar on you, man. Oh, I can tell. I like the stuff a lot myself. But even I don't pack that much, and I mean, wow. With the infinitely spanning possibilities before the son of Hades, I have arbitrarily selected only three again from which to let you choose. Do tell Knight herself that I am often thinking of her here. She must believe that there are those upon Olympus who admire her. My heavy breathing professional associate was gracious enough to drop me off here with his other stuff and for quite an affordable price at that. Good morning, or when? Sisyphus, I have to be up front with you. A fury Megara and Thanatos. I know you're not exactly on the best of terms with either one of them, but they're both close to me. You won't hold it against me, sir, will you? Look, Prince, it's not for me to judge you or your friends. The Fury Sisters, Master Thanatos, we got off on the wrong foot, you could say. My fault entirely. I'd sooner make sure that our correspondence here doesn't make those relationships more difficult. Don't even say that, sir. I think Meg and Than know me better than that by now. Well, thanks for understanding, as always. Certainly, Highness. And who knows? Perhaps as you spend more time together, some of your finer qualities will rub off on those two. Must be sure to do this again sometime, Boldy, my friend. Okay. If you're quite done with shopping, Zagreus, what say we cut straight to the chase from here? Uh... You're prompt sometimes, I have to give you that. It's time for target practice once again. Start running, Zagreus. Oh, she won't let this go. Fine. I'm not angry anymore. Not really, anyway. But you just watch yourself with me. You got it? Young Sprout, I cannot fully understand my daughter's choices, such as what she saw in your gloom-filled father to have eloped with him. But if you are the result, then she is clearly wiser than I estimated. The last thing I ever want to do is slow you down, boss. So, enough chit-chat. Now pick and go. Go! Hey, that's the Eternal Spear Varatha, isn't it? Your father used to use that, didn't he? A bit ornate for hunting, but a spear's a spear, is what I like to say. Thanatos? You call. You've come this far, now let's make sure you go the distance, Sag. I doubt this will take very long at all. No doubt at all for me. You return at your peril, Hellspawn. You'll get no quarter here. bargain there in Keron's shop, so how about we try a slightly bigger deal on for size right now? After deliberating briefly, Cerberus concludes that yes, he shall accept the sack. I can go. I knew someday the Eternal Spear would turn on me. Let's see you wield it, boy. As he journeys to his mother's cottage in the cold, loudly speaking Zagreus calls out to hear the echo of his voice, the blast of sound causing a substantive amount of ice and snow to break off from a nearby mountaintop and fall, and fall, and... Ah! I want you to go out there and die some other way. Shortly before you do. Experience is the greatest teacher, lad. Take care, okay? You're interrupting me during my time at work. Your expertise is needed once again. 
Then very well, Mother. I'll begin right away and be back soon. Let's go someplace a little quieter than this, where we can concentrate. Let's see now. <laughs> A little peace and quiet's good from time to time. Don't you agree? Hmm. 